Welcome back to this new video of Techspress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the YouTube Mobile Application Studio. So basically this is a quick glanced up of view. You will see this in the latest bit of performance. We can have all of this information totally for free. So first of all, what I need to do of course is to open the application. If you haven't already, you just need to download it from the App Store of the Google Play. So once you're in, you'll be loaded into the dashboard. This is where you quick glance up a beep. You'll see your latest video performance. You can click here into the upper side. And you can check out that here we have the switch account. We have the settings to send feedback. YouTube centered and go straight directly here into YouTube. So I'm going to click back into my dashboard. So this is your quick glance overview once again. You can also tap the notifications icons into the top right to stay up to date on any comments or any channel updates. So let's move on to the content tab. So here you have all the videos, all the shows, all the live streams that you have done so far. Tap into any video and you will see a whole range of editing options. We can change the title, we can uh, change the description, I can change the text, I can change the visibility, I can go and add a related video, uh, I can add the location of course, the altered content and more and more options. So even edit your thumbnail, you can do it so. You can also schedule videos for later, which is super handy for planning your content. If your channel is monetized, you can also adjust monetization settings here. And uh, if you need, of course, anything or the later video directly from the application, you can do it too. So let's go directly into the good stuff, which is the analytics. This is where you really understand your audience and what's working. So tap the analytics tab. You'll see the overview of the channel. So this is going to be helping us uh, checking the performance, for example, in this case, over the last 28 dates. You can see your audience rotation. You can check out the watch time. You can check out the specific video, how it's performing in the real time, actually. So channel analytics gives you a broader view of your channel's overview performance. You can see your audience demographics, where when they are online and what other channels are they're watching. So this is a really good um, element. This is gold for planning your content strategy. So for example, I have to check out how many chose to view my video or to swipe away my shots, which I think is going to be really important. So for example, I have 57% of people who swipe away. That means that I really need a really catchy phrase or a catchy image that gives and drives so much more traffic. So how viewers find my shows, in this case from the show feeds or the YouTube search, the search team, what is Greek yogurt. So try to use that information to implement it into your new videos. Now, if I focus here into community, I can go for a start exploring. Basically, it's like a comment tab. This is where you have the direct line to your audience Check out all the comments, filter them, reply, hurt them, and even remove reports of inappropriate comments. And finally, if your channel is monetized, you have to the earned section. Now the earned section here, you have a monetization tab where you can track your estimate revenue, manage membership helps, and see your YouTube channel and super staked revenue. So it's a great way to keep an eye on your earnings and see how your channel is performing financially. I'm going to change this for a new channel. And this is an example of an actual uh, YouTube channel that we currently have uh, monetized. So here are a few extra steps for getting the most out of the application. You can customize the notifications so you only get alerts on the things that matter to you. So you can get comfortable with the analytics. The more you understand the data, the better you can tailor your content. And remember the application is constantly being updated, so keep an eye out for new features. So I can check out, for example, the watched, watched page ads, short feeds ads, and super uh, ads. All of this information will be provided here. So basically, guys, that's how you can actually use these elements to get started here into my YouTube channels. And there you have it. The YouTube Studio Mobile application is a really powerful tool that puts the control of your channel right into the pocket. So by mastering all of these features, you can manage your content, engage with your audience, and track your performance from anywhere. It is essential to, for any YouTuber looking to grow the channel in 2024 and beyond. 
So if you find this tutorial helpful guys, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to Express for more in-depth YouTube tips and tech insights. Leave your questions in the comments below and we'll be sure to address them. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video.